And we are back. Our next guest has carved their niche in the world of hip hop, blending a passion for music with savvy branding strategies. She's also wrote two books, serving as a guide for aspiring female entrepreneurs and providing artists with some essential tools for networking and elevating their careers. Joining us today, influencer and brand strategist, Stephanie Nicole. And Stephanie, good to have you with us, and uh, thank you for being with us. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good. So, uh, you got a name called Little Miss Chat. Let me talk a little bit about that, and uh, what's behind the yes. name there? Um, so the name is Little Miss Chicha. As you can see, my name Stephanie Nicole. It's like a regular name, a basic name that everyone would have. Um, so pretty much, I wanted to come up with a name that people would remember when I went into the room and stuff like that. So I came up, I sat my little brothers and sisters down. I'm like, we need to come up with a name for my brand. Um, could you guys help me? And we just came up with, like, we put words together and we came up with Little Miss Chicha. And I know that you do a great job of trying to promote female artists and also really speaking into the lives of females. Talk to me about what got you behind that. Um, to be honest, I've always been super big on like women empowerment and stuff. I was a Girl Scout my whole life. My mom actually still works for Girl Scouts um, Outreach and she works with over 400 girls. So I feel like it's just something definitely that like was a part of my life, like always supporting girls and women empowerment and just being a girl's girl, you know? Yeah. And so you talk about being a girl's girl, um, you know, when you talk about supporting female artists, what is it that you feel like you want them to be able to know? Um, I just want them to be able to know that anything is possible. Um, hip hop is kind of a male dominated industry. And sometimes it's hard being a woman trying to navigate through male dominated industries. But I just want them to know that it's always possible to stay focused. We're just as strong as men. We are just as smart as men. We are just as creative as men. And, you know, we can make it happen too. And for yourself, uh, in addition to doing all of this, you've also got a radio show. And congratulations on that. Talk to us about the radio show. Yes, I have a radio show called Chit Chat Radio on Party 101.9 every Sunday from 7 to 9. Um, yeah, it's super, super dope. I just talk about what's going on in the media and hip-hop. I put everybody on to new female artists that they don't know. Um, and, yeah, just promoting female artists, promoting all artists from all over, and just, you know, breaking artists, actually. That's really my goal is to, like, really break some artists because I feel like a lot of people um, don't really... A lot of, I don't want to say this wrong. Um, a lot of people aren't, they they don't look for new talent. So I like to be the person to like first put people onto new talent. A lot of artists that I've said were going to be big a couple of years ago, they are now super big, like the Lola Brooks, the Connie Diamonds, the Billy Bees. Um, I projected that those people would blow up. So I'm like super, super happy to see that, you know? Yeah. And for yourself, you know, being now having a radio show, promoting female artists, this opportunity for yourself to really, you know, kind of like pivot, if you will, uh, into a new direction. What's this direction that you're moving into uh, with both career and uh, also, you know, with the show? So pretty much, I'm actually about to open up a content studio called The Chat Room because I have a website called The Chat Room where we, it's like a media platform. We especially specialize in hip-hop and female rap. But I'm also open up a content studio where we can have everybody come in and, you know, take pictures, do their videos, YouTube videos, so everybody has a home to create, you know? Yeah. So you talk about starting an online business. You got an e-book out there also, and the e-book helps people to start that online business. Uh, give me a little bit about it. Um, so pretty much, it just it's just a, a small guide of, like, steps to take to start an online business so you can make money. Because a lot of people, they see all these influencers online, and it's like, you can do it, too. It's not that hard. You know what I mean? Anybody can make money online. Right. And right. who doesn't want passive income? I don't think anybody's going to give you a complaint there about wanting passive income. Now, getting passive income... I think everybody's gonna be like, yes, surely we can, we we can do that. So for yourself, uh, doing it online, helping people to get online, how hard is it uh, for the online platform? I mean, it all depends because like now we're in a day and age where like everybody's super super nosy. So it's like if you're not someone who like is super comfortable like showcasing your lifestyle and what you got going on, 
it may be a little difficult to build yourself up. But if you're someone that loves the internet, you're like always out there doing stuff, you always posting what you eat in for dinner and stuff. It's like you might as well make money off of your platform. If you so you're saying if you're out there, you might as well just go ahead and be out there. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, that's what that's worthwhile advice. So for somebody out there is watching and saying, listen, I, I want to do what she does. I, I like what she does. Um, I can see myself doing that. How do you encourage them and what do you tell them? I mean, I personally tell everybody to study the greats. I was, if I was someone else, I would say study chit chat, um, study Oprah. Like I studied Ricky Lake. I studied Jenny Jones. I studied, studied Karen Civil. I studied Angela Yee. I studied Ang Angie Martinez. I st studied Miss Info. You know what I mean? I studied all these people. So I feel like the biggest thing um, that people need to do is really like do their research and study their lane so that they can perfect their craft. And with all the studying that you've done, what's your biggest takeaway? My biggest takeaway is to be yourself, to be honest. To just be yourself. Like, don't try to fit into nobody else's lane. Don't try to be like nobody else. Just be yourself and be authentic because authenticity always oversees everything. Yeah. Well, it's been great. It's been great having you on. I want to thank you for being with us. Yes, thank you for having me. It was definitely great. Talking all right. to you. Yeah, good talking to you as well. I want to let you know that if you want to find out more, all you got to do is visit our website at chatroom.tv.